It has been said, a building is not just stone and mortar. In the case of Port Chester High School, these words could not be more true. We celebrate this building's 75th anniversary this year, but clearly what we are celebrating are the lives of all those that have walked the halls, sat at desks, stood before students, and created through their dreams and desires the future. This building has been home to thousands of plans, visions, creative thinking, scholastic achievements and struggles, and for many of us, memories. It all began in 1932. Actually, it all began in 1928. It became apparent in that year that more classroom space was needed. The grammar schools had an average increase of 150% from the last five years alone. On January 19, 1928, the president of the Board of Education, Elwood Burtzel, made a statement to the taxpayers of Porchester, which included these words. Not only have we considered the matter most thoroughly ourselves, but we have also had the advice of the State Education Department. We have decided that the best interests of the children, as well as the taxpayers, will be co-served by the acquisition of a comparatively large tract of land, on a portion of which can later be erected a high school. The land he spoke of was at the time part of the Porchester Country Club. The cost was $285,000. The voters approved a bond proposition of $1,350,000 for the new high school building, and on September 24, 1930, ground was broken by Mr. Burtzel, the board president. It was completed on February 1, 1932, and just like the line in the movie Field of Dreams, build it and they will come, they came. 1,000 students on the first day, on time, in the classrooms and in their seats by 8.30 a.m. sharp. Here is what was written in the daily item a few days before completion. The new senior high school, a giant astride a rolling hill in the Tamarack Gardens, can only be described as magnificent, and is conceded by authorities to be the most modern structure of its kind in this section of the state. Probably one of the most interesting spots is the tower, which rises 135 feet and boasts a clock with a seven foot dial illuminated at night on four sides. From the tower, one can see into New York or across Long Island Sound, a magnificent view on all sides on a clear day. Magnificent it still is. And yet we know this glorious building would be nothing if it weren't for the students and faculty inside it. Who are they? Where are they? And how are they affected by their time at Porchester High School? It is correct to assume that over 200,000 graduated from our alma mater, and although success is difficult to measure and can be defined in many ways, we have found a sampling of those thousands who will share their stories of success and their love of their high school. Let us journey through time and revisit life at Port Chester High School. The events, the classes, music, sports, and people who helped shape us into what we would eventually become. Let us take in the past, appreciate what has changed, and perhaps surprisingly, what has not. In 75 years, much has happened in our community, our country, and the world. What we could count on always is that magnificent building with that wonderful tower, and more importantly, the highest quality of education. <laughs>